congratulations on the film. Thank you. Um, it wasn't a million miles from here where you were serving coffees a couple of years ago, and now yeah, you've come on this actually, huge yeah. trajectory. How have you found your journey so far? Has it been everything you'd, you'd hoped for? Because you've been able to do quite a few amazing projects over the time in the short space yeah. of time. No, it's been brilliant. It's been, uh, I mean, a massive surprise for me. I never expected any of this, um, so it's been fantastic to to do. I just feel really lucky to have, to have been able to do it. Really, um, definitely overwhelming at times, but yeah, it's been amazing. You not forgot how to make a good latte, I hope. That's always a good skill, right? <laughs> you know what? I went back to try and do one like a year ago, uh, or maybe a bit more. I went to, to try and make My friend works at a coffee shop, and I went, I was like, let me let me try and make one. I had it. Actually, no, that's not true. I made one at uh, the London Coffee Festival not, not long ago. My friend was oh, nice. running a stall, and I, did pre I think I did pretty well. I just oh, nice. do a little rosetta. It's always, it's always good to dip your toe back in now and again. Um, tell me about your first uh, meeting with Francis. What sold you on the vision? Because this is a directorial debut. So what, what was it about her and the project that, that, that sold you on it? Uh, it was really the script, to be honest. Reading the script was what sold me on it. I just thought it was so beautifully written, and, and I thought the character of Bramwell was so tragic and, and heartbreaking and well done. Um, and then meeting Frances, I was just sold straight away in the, in the audition, just hearing her kind of passion for it and how, how much she'd invested in it. Um, and it, it never faltered, you know, throughout the filming. She was just so passionate and hardworking and enthusiastic. You've been lucky to work with some great ensembles in a short space of time. How did this one measure up to the ones that you've been with before? Because it's a fantastic ensemble. It's a brilliant, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing cast. I couldn't have asked for, for better people to be opposite. Um, it's been brilliant. I mean, we, we sort of filmed towards the end of um, lockdown in 2021, and we, so it meant that we, we were in a house together, we bubbled up, and we were in this big sort of stately home up north together, and that was, it was amazing. I mean, it was like, it was the first, you know, we'd had sort of breaks from lockdown, but being able, while everyone was in lockdown, to be with a massive, like with a big group of people and have dinner together and talk and like go for walks, it was, I think everyone was sort of desperate for the human company a bit, really. Yeah. Fantastic. And you go from one great ensemble to another one. You're working with Olivia Common, great expectations. Now, how's that experience been? Because I don't know anybody that has a bad word to say about Olivia Common, both as a person and as an actress. Yeah, not at all. She's incredible. I mean, she's, she's an amazing actress, like amazing to just watch in a scene. Um, but she's also just, she's so nice. <laughs> Hilarious as well. Fantastic. Really when, funny. When can we expect to see that? I'm not too sure, to be honest. Yeah. We we'll have to wait. I said expecting. I don't know. It was a nice little pun there. Oh, yeah, I thought it was good. Good. Lovely to see you as always. Nice have a good one, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey.